Um, hello everyone, I am Federico. I am the UX designer from the Moodle community team. Uh, can you go next slide, please? Uh, for this uh, sprint, we're working in the Moodle um, Academy 4.0 upgrade. Um, this will happen in the Monday, uh, 19 of December. Uh, and for this upgrade, we're adding um, the new theme. Well, we're, we, uh, we wrote there same design because we're kind of um, imitating a lot of the behaviors that Moodle Academy currently has. So there's not like a huge uh, jump, but um, we're deciding on which things we want to make small improvements, which things we want to keep uh, to, to have more or less more or less the same experience than before. Uh, so, but also we add a lot a lot of new functionalities uh, that from 4.0 from work, Workplace 4.0. And um, we also have, for example, one of the functionalities that we're um, imitating from the old uh, from the from the um, current Moodle Academy site is like the blog drawer. Uh, on the home page is open by default. So because we have uh, important information there, for example, like the call to action to the Moodle mood or upcoming events blog, that is really important also. Um, and uh, we are planning the 4.0, the 4.1 uh, upgrade for uh, January. We're estimating that it's gonna happen in January. Can we go next slide, please? Uh, also, another functionality that we're working inside of uh, on, on the upgrade is the um, uh, book sticky navigation, um, because uh, this is one of the things, one of the characteristics that we're imitating from the current uh, Moodle community, Moodle um, Academy site. And I'm going to share very quickly so we can see how um, it works. Okay, should be working now. Yeah. Okay. Um, so in the it, so this is the navigation inside of, uh, for example, a book um, activity. Um, in this case, we're in the course introduction to Moodle, and we can navigate uh, with the arrows because um, there's um, one of the aspects that we're working in the Moodle um, Academy site is in terms of accessibility. Um, so in this aspect, when we add a text, it's not as accessible as, accessible as an icon in this case. Um, so this, if we, for example, I can navigate front and also back and also it stays um, a sticky so um, there's no duplicates on top and on the bottom um, for the next or previous uh, buttons and if we go for uh, to the um, current um, Moodle Academy site we can see that these are the arrows that currently we have on the page um, on the website um, so this is what what we wanted to implement this functionality on the book activity okay I can stop sharing and um okay now can you go to the next slide please Adrian thanks uh, also for the um we were working in the Moodle mood uh, videos now they are released you have them in the Moodle Academy uh, in the Moodle mood global course inside of Moodle Academy but also you have them in the YouTube playlist um, of uh, Moodle and these are the links so you can access to it. Um, next slide, please. Uh, also, we're working in one of the functionalities, the new functionalities inside of Moodle Academy, uh, is that we're going to add uh, different uh, events. We're going to add uh, multiple um, language events, for example, Spanish and other languages. So we're going to have much more events uh, that we will um, um, kind of uh, feature in Moodle Academy. Uh, so we wanted to create this filter functionality inside of the upcoming events block. This is just a first draft of a prototype. Uh, so we are keep working on this idea because it, it, it is important um, because right now we don't have th those that many events, but in the future uh, we will. So we're working on this small functionality and we have a Figma prototype, but it's basically the same that shows in the gift and the ticket. And we go next slide, please. And also in this, uh, oh, we have a, <laughs> we have some text there um, from the last slide. But uh, in this sprint, we're also working in the Proto Personas workshop because in the in terms of research, uh, there is work happening in the in the um, for my side as a UX designer. We're working in in this sprint. We made like the a workshop that is one hour and one hour long, uh, working with the team to define who are the users that are using our product and defining specific characteristics about them. But these are just uh, assumptions. So I will work on this. Um, with this uh, base, making conclusions from the from this workshop to start doing research with uh, with current real users of 
Moodle Academy. So this is one of the first steps on exploring uh, the user behavior inside of um, inside of the website. And next slide, please. Now I'm gonna head um, the word to Orly. Hi everyone, I'm Oli, I'm the community engagement lead for Moodle.org and community sites. And uh, so this uh, sprint was our first print where we were actually uh, using points and estimations, so bear with us. <laughs> um, so we had 30 issues in the sprint, um, which was 112 points according to what we um, uh, planned. Uh, a lot of those were carried over from the last sprint. 18 of these issues were completed as of yesterday. Uh, turns out one's been reopened today. Um, but um, so six issues were in progress, not seven and six issues not started. So the ones in progress are actually um, things that will be completed in Sprint 1.3. Um, I've added the velocity chart there is just to show how much the team has worked through those points and has delivered um, this, uh, this sprint. So we started with a high number of points and it's been uh, worked and, and deliver a small increments, especially for the URI improvements on a weekly basis released to uh, Moodle.org and, and related sites. Um, just next slide. So uh, the sprint goals were to update Moodle.org design based on community feedback. We've delivered those stories, uh, this sprint uh, for that. There will be more next sprint. Uh, where uh, Another one was to obtain stakeholders feedback for the plugins directories. We started working on designing workshop for that, but it hasn't been done. So that's something that will carry on next sprint. Uh, and therefore the goals for this overall epic will be a little bit delayed, but that's fine. Uh, we have workshop running this week and then another couple in, in January, hopefully. Um, uh, to summarize the site's registration issues, so I had a meeting with Marie about that on Monday and we've got a plan going forward. So the next step will go into the next sprint in terms of um, trying to encourage people to register their, their Moodle sites. Um, to propose a new setup for the MUA HQ community interaction. So the setup has not been proposed, but I've run uh, 10 interviews with co MUA committee members, which I've summarized and I will present to them on next week. So that will move to the next sprint effectively. Um, another couple of things that aren't on the sprint goals, but that we have done in, in terms of support work for the Moodle community side this, uh, this sprint were to uh, work on uh, the custom design theme for Moodle.org that was already launched in October and um, apply that in staging to translation site and stats site so that uh, those sites have got 4.1 uh, ready as well and that will all go on next sprint hopefully being released in terms of the new look and feel that matches Moodle.org. So it's just trying to make everything consistent. We also had user docs um, updated uh, to, for the 4.1. Uh, so all uh, the user docs uh, and admin um, are being worked on as well in English and also the German 4.1 is ready. Um, we have um, uh updated um as well the community sections to match the 4.1 release but also in the process plan for releases for the next year as well in the calendar etc so there's a lot of planning that's gone in um and then if you want to go to the next slide i'm going to try and hopefully so um i'm sorry i don't have any screenshots and i'm gonna have to share and take over this um because uh, we had an, a technical issue and I can't present and I'm not the best person to present you this, but I will um, go here and just do a quick, uh, very quick <clears throat> look over the UI changes that we have made. You can't see everything because a lot of things were changed to mobile and tablets, but there have been changes to align the top graphic to sit under uh, the, the login and, and there, were, there were extra gaps in there. Uh, we've made changes to um, 
the uh, footer. Uh, so that's now available in different views. So a lot of work has gone into mobile and tablet improvement for the view as well in the UI. Um, and we've got in the footer two new links, one to the site policy and an accessibility statement that has been created and linked in there as well. Um, there has been improvement in the forums uh, in the um, uh, post spacing and in the get involved page as well, which we improve as we uh, go to match the front page in terms of spacing, but also if I can show, it's not quite loading. Um, so the iconography has been made consistent and updated as well as the spacing in between the different cards there. Um, and also there's been an improvement of the uh, consistency of how the um, events area cards, uh, the community events, sorry, uh, uh, works. Um, and if I stop sharing and go back to uh, the slideshow, hopefully, um, so then the other, th the one last thing that I can say that we've improved this time is that um, the metadata for the um, Get Involved page has been added as well. So a lot of changes that are not as kind of visible to like as dramatic, uh, but based on the community feedback and um, and a lot of small changes, and that will carry on in the next sprint. So hopefully we'll finish all the changes for um, that have been suggested. Uh, for this uh, increment. Uh, one thing that hasn't been done or was done but is not satisfactory is the update on the hyperlinks and we're working on this. Um, uh, so we had made our hyperlinks at the moment they're bold uh, because of the contrast wasn't sufficient with the different color contrast uh, before. We have um, an uh, update to um, accessibility review you, but we will also work on, on this to make sure everybody is uh, able to access. Okay, thank you.